dust on this and I keep thinking that it's on my face. It's not on my face. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the channel or if you haven't seen this series before, what I do is once a week, every Wednesday, I go through all of the new beauty releases as seen on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if I think everything's a total washout. I feel like Instagram, like, exploded this week. I don't know why. Every, like, every time I opened up the app, I saw something new, and I was like, Whoa. And then I would look over and I was like, oh, and then I would open up and I get like two, like every five seconds I felt like something popped up. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. I'm probably going to forget some stuff. Uh, <laughs> let's see if how much we can get through before I have to go and catch my train already talking too fast. Huh. So fun fact, I walked to the train station this morning and two of my trains ended up being canceled. Fun. NJ Transit is so much fun. So I ended up just having to walk back home and uh, work from home for the day. So you never really know. Life is a, uh, it's, it's a fun. Also, it was really, really cold outside. Don't forget to subscribe before we jump in if you want to catch videos every single Monday through Friday. And let's start with this palette. It is real. It's real. It's here. Not here, but I mean, it's a real physical object. This is the certified palette that they released that Photoshop kind of a uh, concept of and huh, like I, the, the minute this comes out I'm getting it. The second <laughs> updates. I actually okay so I actually picked up a palette from Blush Tribe. I know I said I was on the fence about Blush Tribe but they had this like 24 48 hour sale whatever thing so I picked up the Hasina too because it was half off so it was $12.99. I paid as much for shipping as I paid for the palette. So that's actually what got me to buy it because the original price it would have been $42 or something plus $12 shipping and that was eh. But when it was, can I do math? I don't know how much I originally was but the original price was a bit much plus $12.99 shipping because I think that's the cheapest shipping I could get here where I am in the states. But they knocked the price down to $12.99, so $12.99 plus $12.99 shipping. I ended up paying, with tax, like just under $30 for it. So, I have no idea how long it's going to take to ship to me. I just got the notification saying it shipped or it is going to ship out today. So I'll take a look at the tracking information whenever it pops up and we'll see how soon I can actually get that. So. That's very exciting. <laughs> Second update, I actually went to Milani's website and placed an order. I picked up their new concealers. I picked up two shades of their concealer and I picked up one shade of their foundation stick because I really want to try that one out. Um, I think I also picked up the matte setting spray because I really wanted to try that too. Uh, and I think that's everything that I picked up. Oh, I lied. I picked up one other thing. <laughs> this is actually a bit earlier from CVS. Are you focusing, camera? So Wet n Wild has this new like workout collection and I think they collabed with like Cassie of Blogilates, which I think that is just like a perfect collab. Like she, she has the Blogilates, she's got her whole, she's got like an empire now. That's, she's doing really good. I've, I've followed her for a while because I used to follow the Blogilates calendar back when I was in college and I used to watch her videos all the time. I haven't watched her recently. I know she just got married, so congrats. Um, but I think this is such a cool collab between Wet and Wild and her for like this workout line. Personally, when I'm working out, I haven't worked out a whole lot recently, but whenever I do work out, I just don't wear any makeup. But I do like the idea of it being more of just a natural kind of look, a more dewy kind of look, as opposed to like what we're used to seeing, like full coverage, blah, blah, blah. So I did pick up this like foundation little thingy because I saw it at CVS and I was intrigued. So the actual thing is like a foundation. And then if you pop up the top, you have a highlighter and a color corrector. So let me see, can I pop this? Yeah. So you pop this open, it's like a salmon-y color corrector and then a highlighter. So you're supposed to use a color corrector, put the foundation on, and then you use the highlighter. I haven't tried it out yet. I really want to try it out on camera just because I'm so curious. And I hope I got the correct shade. It was really hard to shade match because the colors on top are for the color corrector and for the concealer. So you can really only see the foundation like through here. And you can't open it up in store, of course. So I picked up the shade that I think would be closest to me. And I don't even think they label the shades. Light medium. 
so that I mean that is probably the closest for me so they put the shade like in the middle right there in case you're wondering but that's the only thing I picked up from that collection they did have the full thing at CVS if I do like that I might go back and pick up a few more things but I just I love the whole aesthetic of this it's pretty cool all right so Kylie is coming out with a whole bunch of new stuff so there's new highlighters there are new bronzers which I don't know if she's ever come out with bronzers before and then there's a whole bunch of new blushes looking at this big picture I have one of her highlighters and it's like okay nothing groundbreaking uh, if anything, I'd be interested in a blush because I think the blushes look really cute. But if any, I really wish that they would do more like face palettes. Like, could you do like a fair face palette, a light face palette, a medium face palette? Like, they, it looks like they have a decent range of shades here. I just don't like having everything. I just really like face palettes. And if I don't have a face palette, I'll make a face palette. <laughs> so I would, I would love to see either a make your own face palette that would be nice but with them all being individual like this I think the only thing I might look into is the blush but I have blush and I'm panning a blush and I know how long it takes to use blush so I, I really don't need any more blush but I, I will say I love the packaging it looks super cute and I think it's a great direction for the brand to go in I don't think I touched on this in a previous video. Hourglass is coming out with a new blush for the new year. I haven't tried any of their blushes Again, like I said before, blushes take a long time to use up, but I do love the rest of the ambient. That's a lie. I tried a blush in their face palette. I haven't tried an individual blush, but the blushes in their two holiday palettes, I do enjoy those. So I don't know if I would pick up a full-size one, even though the, this watch does look pretty cute. This looks nice. But A, hourglass, it's going to be expensive. And B, it just... No. So while I think it is really cute and I do like the shade and everything, I don't think I'm gonna pick it up. What is, have anyone heard of LC Cosmetics? I don't think I've come across them before, but they're coming out with these new trios. And I feel like I've seen these trios like everywhere all of a sudden. There's like a blue trio and then like, okay, there's a Ravenclaw trio and there's a Gryffindor trio. Where is my Slytherin trio? Where is it, LC Cosmetics? So anyway, they say they're supposed to be... You know, you're supposed to create universal looks for both day and night. It includes colors that are complementary to the winter season, which included bright shimmers and the perfect blue and burgundy shades. They're $29 for three shades. Uh, knowing that I already don't really reach for small palettes. I'm working on them in my Spotlight on Petite Palette series, which I did just put out a new one yesterday. So if you missed that, I'll throw it up in the cards. But uh, probably won't reach for these. If they came out with a Slytherin trio, maybe, but even then, 30 is a bit steep for a trio. Was anyone else so disappointed by this melt stack? I actually commented on the photo. Got a couple hundred likes on it because I, I think I saw the photo like right when it posted. Yeah, so I wrote first off, split pans. Second, they couldn't just do a blue stack. Like, they didn't have to split pan this. They could have just done a four stack with full size of those blue shades and that's a blue stack. I really don't like that they had to split it and do these neutral shades because if you like makeup you have those other shades and they're not even that oh no I was so disappointed because I've tried out one melt palette and I do want to try one of the stacks because I've heard that they're like incredible and amazing and I was looking at this blue one very intrigued and then this ah. I'll keep my fingers crossed for the next stack so hourglass is coming out with a liquid foundation i am on the fence about this i tried out their stick foundation and I, I couldn't get it to work it was it looked horrible on my skin no matter what i used uh, i don't need any more foundations but i'm curious i would definitely look into getting a sample of this i would want to try it out just to see but what's the price gonna be 56 dollars probably not but I will see if I can get a sample because I'm curious. I am curious. This looks pretty interesting from Too Faced. This is a new Do You Fresh Glow Luminous Face Primer. They have three shades. They've got Radiant Pearl, Radiant Nude, and Radiant Caramel. And it looks really cute. Like, I find myself really liking 
luminous primers especially under matte foundations but if I'm going for like a more neutral natural look then I might just throw on a primer and do my eyebrows and go so I really want to try this primer out I'd probably go for the lightest shade radiant pearl but see I don't know if I'd be able to use the next shade down radiant nude it might look too orange on me so I, I want to try out that radiant pearl shade what is this nonsense from Tarte This legitimately looks like kids makeup. <laughs> okay, so Jouer brand that I said I did really want to try out in 2019 is coming out with this blush palette and it looks gorgeous. But ah, I keep going for blushes. I, I have blush. Blush takes forever to go through. I need to A, do a blush declutter and then B, maybe get that. Oh, it looks so nice though. And I don't know why, but like that orangey kind of shade. I'm interested. I want to try it out because I love peach. I think peach looks great on my skin tone. And I think with a light hand, that might look so pretty. So the crayon case is coming out with another palette. This one is an entirely matte palette and it's just a rainbow. And then you've got some transition shades on the bottom. Eh, I mean, it's something groundbreaking. I know that last palette was like all over the internet. I doubt this one's going to get as much hype just because it is the second one. And it is all matte. This looks like the most gimmicky thing I have ever seen. It's just a highlighter, I guess. It's a roll-on highlighting balm. So you take your little paint roller, you roll it in your highlight, and then you roll it on yourself. What's stopping you from just doing that with a regular highlighter? There's, and I've never even heard of this brand before, Kaha Beauty. Kaja, not Spanish. No, I th I th it's just gimmicky. It's just the applicator. That's the only thing that's... Get yourself a paint roller, put your liquid highlighter on it. Boom. Just saved you almost $30. $30 for this. Come on, stop playing. So am I the only one that didn't really watch 90210 and isn't really excited for this palette? It's also $40. Jesus. <sighs> so jumping over to Indie Makeup Spotlight, I scroll down a bit and I see this palette. It's from Sparrow Cosmetics and it's called the One Ring Palette. And apparently it's been revamped and they're re-releasing it with a mirror. I think the shades are different for a palette. It's definitely a little bit unique. I don't know how I feel about what looks like those pressed glitters in the last row. Not a fan of pressed glitters in palettes, but it is a nice color story. I think it's unique. I, don't, I just honestly have no idea also how much it costs. Yeah, so they added the three glitters. I don't know how I feel about that. Meh. So I scrolled past these palettes really fast and I thought they were in the Milani palettes. They're not. They're $42 each. Mm, just stick with the Milani ones, honestly. I, I tried out one of the Milani palettes that looks like this and it's amazing quality and $12. All right, I think I'm gonna leave it at that for this week just so I have time to run and catch my train. Let me know what you guys thought down below of these products, especially that Certified palette. Mm. Thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.